CBS 3 Eyewitness News at 4. Fear, crying, and thoughts of death. Is behind an emergency landing at Palm Beach International Airport. an emergency landing at PBIA last One night. One of those passengers was an international celebrity. The harrowing experience sent seven people to hospitals. During the first leg of his trip home when he knew something was wrong. And the inner layer of the plane's windshield shattered, sending the crew into a mid-air emergency. The airline's jet was headed from San Juan, Puerto Rico to Philadelphia last night. But two hours later, it was diverted to West Palm Beach, Florida, when an electrical fire poured smoke into the cockpit. CBS 3's Pat Shiraki is here with the story. Pat? Well, Angela, the 139 passengers on American Airlines Flight 1738 were watching a movie when heat and smoke started to fill the cockpit and a burning smell permeated the cabin. Halfway into the flight, when we were over the water, you can smell something like burning, like on fire. It was scary, I'm not going to lie. I mean, anybody on that flight that says they weren't scared, they're lying. It was, it was scary. It was something out of a movie. It was, it, was, it was insane. With tears and hugs, the passengers, many who had been on winter getaways, arrived at Philadelphia International Airport just before dawn today, relieved their mid-air ordeal was over. College student Heather Cunningham was coming home from studying abroad in Puerto Rico. Started crying and just really scary thought. I think most of us didn't think we'd be be here. So definitely scary. Certainly scary for the pilot and co-pilot too, who looked up and saw smoke. Then this, the inner layer of glass on the plane's windshield shattered. Authorities say from the heat. Cody Warner, a passenger, took these pictures with his cell phone. I think everybody cried, um, except for maybe some of the guys who were just trying to keep the other people from not from crying. Panicking, some feared the worst when they heard the announcement, emergency landing. And that's really when it started to hit and wrote a farewell letters to my kids and wife. Um, so that was, you know, it was pretty tough. Still with the co-pilot injured from the shards of glass, the pilot maneuvered through the most dangerous descent to land safely at Palm Beach International. Well, six people, including the pilot and co-pilot, were treated for injuries and released. We also have learned from the NTSB that the black box recorders will be sent to Washington for review, and an expert will examine the 757's shattered windshield and that heating element, which led to a similar emergency landing back in January of 2004. I'm 36,000 feet in the air and 90 minutes away from an airport and the plane is on fire? You know, whoa. Wayne Hoffman was one of the 138 passengers aboard Wednesday night's American Airlines Flight 1738 from San Juan, Puerto Rico to Philadelphia. He knew it was going to be a bumpy ride the second he got on the plane. It was the pilot's last flight. And so they had a, a tradition, uh, kind of a send-off, where fire trucks pull up next to the airplane and spray it with water before uh, you take off. I thought that was a major sign. There's something negative go going to happen. His intuitions are often right. You see, Hoffman's an internationally renowned mentalist. Are you thinking of the name Jeff? Yes. Basically, I read minds for a living. His premonition proved true. We're about two hours into the flight, and all of a sudden I start to smell something. And then within a minute, the whole cabin filled, you could, you were basically choking on smoke. American Airlines says a windshield heater in the cockpit overheated mid-flight, causing smoke to fill the cabin. Then the inner glass pane on the windshield shattered cutting the co-pilot. Then the scariest part was they started explaining how to what they call get into a, a brace position for like a crash landing. A little before nine o'clock the plane made an emergency landing at PBIA. We see fire engines racing toward the uh, the plane on the tarmac which totally again it came full circle from the beginning of the, of the, of the whole trip when the fire engines were there to begin with and they were there to end. And I said I knew it. The co-pilot was treated for cuts. Six passengers were taken to the hospital last night and treated for smoke inhalation. Most of the remaining passengers got on another plane early this morning when it finally arrived at their destination in Philadelphia. Right now, the plane is parked near the main terminal at Palm Beach International Airport while the NTSB investigates. Amanda Burden, WPBF News 25. Fear, crying, and thoughts of death. Fear crying and thoughts of death thoughts of death thoughts of death thoughts of death